amateur featherweight bout to be contested under unified amateur rules. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the cage with a record of zero wins and one defeat. He is fighting independently, Sam Whiteley! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, making his debut this evening, representing Roadhouse MMA, Curtis Hill! Your referee for this bout, Mr. Simon Stadnicki. Referee Mr. Simon Stadnicki about to get this one underway. Three three-minute rounds if they need them in the FCC Amateur Featherweight Division. Sam Whiteley in the black and yellow taking on the debuting Curtis Inns in the solid black shorts. While he's a guy we've seen before in FCC and around the circuit, a uh, storied unlicensed boxer. Got good hands, as you see that, going to the body then straight up to the head, but he's clinched up and taking some nice knees to the body there from Curtis Inns. Yeah, Curtis looking fired up before he even came out for this one. Some great jobs with the teeps early, then those knees in the clinch, showing all ranges. <laughs> Rear Superman punch there into a head kick. Don't see that every day. Another lovely push kick up the middle, committing to it now. Hands are a little low though, Brad. Got to be careful of that wild left hook that Sam's been throwing out there. Nice short right hand clips off the side of the head though. Whitley takes a knee after that one. Oh, nice one, two there from Wiley. Wiley oh. can take a dig, but he's caught there, and he goes down, and it's over! Big right hand. Curtis Inns with a beautiful combination to get the stoppage in the first round. And as I was saying, Alex, Sam Wiley can take a shot. I've seen this mm. guy go four rounds on licensed boxing, being dropped multiple times, getting back to his feet. The guy's got a chin on him, and for Curtis Inns to stop him early in the first round, that says a lot about this man's striking prowess. Yeah, especially in a debut, you know, he can get wild, he can get reckless, but it was an accurate shot, well-placed, right above the ear, dropped him, and, and the ref had seen enough there. So uh, a great debut and performance, showed a well-rounded game there, lots of different strikes, committing to those knees in the clinch, and ruthless as well, just fired them up nice and quick. So I'm sure Curtis will be very happy with that with a debut. That's not much better than a first-round TKO. Absolutely not. And Curtis Inns fans are making themselves known here in the Bolton Arena. As we await our MC, Mr. Ronnie Rowlands, to come in and make this one official. Barely had time to sit down, I think. I'm not sure what the holdup is here. I don't know if we're waiting for um, if we're waiting for a medical check, perhaps on on Sam Whiteley, given that he was stopped there. Of course, the, the procedure for a, for a stoppage when a guy gets knocked out or chokes unconscious is the medical staff will enter the cage first before any of the corner teams and before the post-fight celebrations and the results, of course. So not entirely sure what we're waiting on here, but it looks like the corner teams are going to be allowed in now. So just a case of waiting for our man Ronnie Rowlands to come in and make the decision official. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by way of TKO.